The biggest news we saw today here at the Nest event was probably the Nest Hello futuristic new doorbell from the Google unit. It combines facial recognition, a camera, and a microphone so that you can actually see. It's a really wide angle and a tall angle lens. You can see who's ringing your doorbell right outside the home. And this is the Nest Guard, essentially the brains of the system. You swipe your fob over, you can enter a passcode, you can even communicate it with your phone. Once you do, it disables the system, unlocks the door, and you can enter your home. And this is the Nest Detect. It's a combination of motion sensor and open-close sensor. So you can put it in a room, put it on a window or a door. It will sense if someone's either in your home or trying to get in. The other thing that Nest unveiled today is the Nest Cam Outdoor IQ, new smart camera, essentially brings all the intelligence of the Nest system that you have indoor, that customers have now, and brings it outdoors. It has a really wide angle lens, it has a more powerful speaker system, so you can hear any potential intruders in your backyard. The other great thing about the loudspeaker system is you can also yell through it at any potential intruders, maybe scare them off that way. The other interesting thing that Nest talked about, they have the security system built into the actual Yale lock. This is something that you can program by the hour, so you, no one can get into your home at certain hours. Not that different than existing security systems, but again, all this is plugged into the internet. Google said also here today that they're going to put the Google Home Assistant into their indoor security cam. Uh, they're going to push out a software update sometime this winter, and then eventually that'll be built into the home secure system. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.